everybody, Molly with Cat Behavior Solutions here. We just did a podcast on Cat Talk Radio about getting your cat into a carrier without traumatizing either of you. And I promised in that podcast that I would give you a visual. So here we are. First of all, I mentioned that you should leave the carrier out and feed the cat in the carrier. Now, ideally, you have a top loading carrier like this and you have the doors open with bungee cords one on the front door and one on the top door so that they don't slam shut and you just simply feed the cat in there that gets them used to it but let's pretend that we are and it's never this easy right <laughs> let's pretend we're going on a trip or we're going to the vet and i need to get tabasco i mean pico loaded quickly so let me show you the little things that we talked about on the podcast first of all you want to make sure that you have a bed or towel or t-shirt or something that smells like the cat in there now i've also got a waterproof mattress pad folded up in here just in case he has an accident this is in the bottom and then his and then his bed so the best way <laughs> the other thing is you want to make sure that you sprinkle a little catnip in there. Again, it's never this easy. Pico's really never been in a carrier, but I'm sprinkling a little catnip in there. And then I was going to put some turkey treats in there. This is just deli turkey cut up in little pieces because this is his favorite. But um, really, I wanted to show you how to pick up the cat and put him in there. Again, it's never this easy, but <laughs> put a few of the treats in there and then you, excuse me, sir. Close the front door, pick up your cat like this. Take your hand and lace it between the front two feet so that you can see how I'm mushing the front legs together. And I've grabbed the back feet and tail and I'm just gonna lower him down in here. He can't protest with two paws out. It makes it very, very simple for loading. Now let's say you don't have one of these top loading carriers. And you've got one of these soft-sided front-loading carriers. I'm going to show you how to do that. Come on, my Vanna White of cats. He says, where'd that turkey go? So I'm going to put the carrier between my legs like this so it's supported. Come on, baby. I'm going to grab my cat in the same way, grabbing the back feet, making sure that I've got a good grip on the front legs. And I'm simply going to lower him down into the carrier. And as you can see, this is much more difficult than the top loading carrier. So I absolutely suggest that you invest in one of those. Okay, now we're going upright, ready? Rather than one of these. And that's it. 